Hello guys, what's happening? Welcome back to another video here on Nasha Vlogs. So yesterday, Fort Park Resort released uh, the second uh, Fright Nights Festival 2020 teaser. Uh, I'm going to be reacting to it and I'm going to be telling you what you may have missed when watching it and also some teasers to what else may be at the event. Yes, we do already have the full lineup, but there are some things in here which tease what could be happening. So we're going to play the video first and then we're going to go through what I noticed. <coughs> So that's the teaser trailer. So we're going to go through from the start and we'll go from there. So this, um, okay, so the first shot we're going to mainly look at is this one. This is a shot of one of the scarecrows from the new uh, roaming team for this year called the Crows. Now, as you can see, he's in uh, sort of a field of corn with some light behind. Now, I do believe this corn is actually located uh, down on the beach by the dome uh, and also just across the path from Tidal Wave. So maybe that's one of the areas. So maybe one of the areas will be either on the beach or um, just across from Tidal Wave in Amity, uh, on the path that goes from Amity down to Swarm Island. That may be one of the areas. I think another area may be um, somewhere between the jungle and Old Town. Um, potentially, maybe in Lost City, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's go on to the next shot. So the next shot shows a silhouette waving a chainsaw side to side. Of course, this is um, a teaser for Creek Freaks Unchained. Uh, the new Creek Creek Massacre scare zone for this year. It looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks like maybe we're going to be getting some smoke effects throughout Old Town. Um, obviously, there was a lot currently going on down at Old Town. Uh, obviously, if you look at the back, the fence there, that is actually where Creek Creek Massacre's queue line was for last year. So, yeah. This next one is the rocking chair. Uh, this rocking chair can actually be found in what will be this year's finale for platform uh, 15. I've got a feeling that maybe this rocking chair will be used uh, not just as a set piece, but I think it will be used for maybe part of the scares for this year, I don't know. Next is this creature, which when I saw this for the first time, it was giving me um, creepy caves on earth vibes. Of course, this is uh, a teaser for uh, Roots of Evil, which has replaced Blair Witch for this year. I'm, I'm going to be totally honest. This looks really cool. And obviously, uh, actors this year will be wearing face masks throughout the maze. And I think this is going to really help Fork. Okay, this one is uh, another look at Creek Freaks Unchained. Uh, if you, those who did Creek Creek Massacre last year, you remember some of the actors with chainsaws had gas masks. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of those in use in 2020. Yeah. Obviously another shot for Roots of Evil. As you can see, you've got two people walking and then you've got one of the sort of creatures in the background. Um, yeah. Just Roots of Evil to me seems like Forbes version of Creep Caves, in my opinion, but who knows. Uh, and then here we see a teaser for the Festival Arena. Of course, behind you, you've got uh, Fork Junction, which is home to Darren Brown's Ghost Train. Of course, you've got four um, characters. Uh, one of them looks like a second coming of a ringleader, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. There's like a ghost in the background, and then there's what looks like two fortune tellers. So this could be interesting. Maybe the ghost train sort of area is going to be used. 
And then this is a shot for, for Screenplex Cinema. Obviously, you will be wearing face coverings inside, but in the back, we see a figure which resembles the director. Those who uh, have been the Fright Nights within the last 10 years, you remember in 2013 and 14, you had a character called the director. Uh, the director in 2013 was uh, mainly voiceovers uh, for when Cabin in the Woods, Blair Witch, Saw Alive, and a couple of other attractions were there. And then was the main icon for the new for 2014 maze, Studio 13. Uh, if if uh, some of the theories are going around are true, 2020 should see the return of the director, which means the director, if he, if he is coming back this year, it would mean the director has returned to the island after six years since his um, movie studio got shut down, I don't know. Obviously, another look at the creature from Roots of Evil, and then the ending. Um, okay. So yeah, the trailer looks absolutely insane. Obviously, as I said, Roots of Evil is giving me sort of creepy caves on Earth, that Chesington vibes. Uh, I, I think Roots of Evil is definitely going to be a maze to watch this year. And of course, with hints of the director returning after six years, I think this is potentially opening the doors for the director to return again within the next few years. Uh, obviously, uh, 2000, uh, 2022 will be uh, Fright Night's 20th anniversary. Uh, those who said on my last video that it's actually 2001, I will prove to you that it's not 2001. Here, as you can see, Fright Nights has been managed since 2002. So, if you think it's 2001, you be you. So, like I said, potentially we may be seeing the director returning after six years. Obviously, last time he was at the park, uh, his maze Studio 13 was the headline sort of attraction. Uh, it is going to be interesting if the director does make an appearance in Screenplex Cinema. My theory is that potentially Screenplex Cinema is um, the director's newest project. Obviously, if that's true, the story could be that his last project was Studio 13. Maybe the film flopped and he's got a new production. So, um, and it could potentially open doors for the director to be headlining at the 20th anniversary would be incorporated into the Fright Night's 20th anniversary one way or another. Uh, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, personally, um, at the moment, my most highly anticipated uh, scare zone this year will be Creek Freaks Unchained, with um, Platform 15 being my most highly anticipated maze. So, but I'm just looking forward to the whole event in general because I always enjoy Fright Nights. And I've been going now. This year will be my fourth year going to Fright Nights. So, um, yeah. Guys, let me know what you think down below. Do you think the director will return? Not just for 2020, but for future years. Do you think we'll see the... Um, and also, put your face down below on what you think will be at the 20th anniversary. Loads of people are saying maybe... Uh, someone actually suggested that maybe at the 20th anniversary event they will have one big maze with scenes from mazes from across the past 20 years. I think that will happen and they do have a big building they could do it in. But I will talk about that in another video or I'll do a theory on what it could be and how they could do it. So yeah, guys, like, comment and subscribe. I've been Nasha. This has been another video on Nasha Vlogs. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.